Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Charnel House Trilogy. I'm Cradler90, and I will be, uh, I guess, your adventurer through this horror game point-and-click adventure. Now, this is going to be a completely blind Let's Play. I'm very interested in what the game has to offer. The ambiance is incredible already, as you can hear the music. I am going to lower the volume a little bit, though, so it doesn't overpower me. Let's see, that sounds good. Let me just lower it a little more. There we go. Inhale, sepulchre, exhale. Well, inhale is on the top, and usually that means that's first. Exhale is last. Um, sepulchre doesn't have anything to do with breathing, but let's just try inhale. I'm not sure what this game has in store for us. Oh, it's another good evening to you, my I'll let us listen. Of New York City. Good news. The blizzards finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need. Some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm, and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment lost, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, Here's Forever by Nervous Test Pilot. And it seems that we have a kind radio DJ narrator. Um, apparently there was some bad weather. Whenever there's voice acting, I will make sure to... It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. And, like I said, I will let the actors do the talking. So we have our inventory up here, settings. This is us right now. Uh, there's a coat behind us. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since... Since, well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. I don't really want and to wear a coat indoors. It's going to be one of those types of adventure games. Let's see. Okay, that's walking forward. Now, I am by no means an expert. Books, games, a couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler. For some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. I'm by no means an expert, so this'll be me kind of bumbling through perhaps uh, the game. Let's Plenty see if we can take anything perfect about now. out of the bookcase. Concentrate. Nope. Alright, let's walk. Let's examine this radio. My trusty portable radio. These days it gets a lot of use. I wonder if our name starts with a T. I prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Okay, you can examine the picture, and ah, see what the, the sofa, sofa says. So many happy memories of sitting here doing fuck all. Oh I have nothing but love for this sofa. Wait, no, the other thing. Apathy. It's a sofa. Actually it's a bed too. Okay. Looks like we have a raven phone. Awesome phone. Gavin got it for me. Okay. It looks like a crow. A crow. There are messages on the answering machine. It's pretty symbolic, I would guess. Uh, let's just My check DVD the cabinet function. first. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. We his. haven't updated to Blu-ray yet, it seems. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. Let's see, can we take anything out of the cabinet? Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. That's our first little mystery, and where Gavin is. I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. Okay, let's listen ahead. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18pm. Congratulations. 
You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? And this is New York, kids. Not interested. I was gonna say, Thames is in England. But that's interesting. A train ticket. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. Okay. You know so this is our mom. And our name is Alex. I don't know if when you get this. we picked up on that Alex, earlier. Love you. I wonder what the Bye. T on our shirt and stands for. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there. And I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Oh. Please don't hate me. Well, it seems oh, that... Screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. If I were a betting man, it would seem... <laughs> Talking to oh, myself. excuse me. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Alex, I share your desire to talk to myself. I'm doing it right now. Now, that phone call from her mom is interesting. I uh, would assume she had some sort of doctor, doctor's appointment that she wouldn't... You know, she felt maybe embarrassed about or just didn't want her mom meddling with. Um, her boyfriend seems to have run away, Gavin, or left her. Uh, something points to, uh, you know, something sad like an abortion, if I were to guess. My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. Perhaps Alex smokes. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. And we, Alex certainly does talk to herself a bunch. Let's see what the radiator has to say. The radiator. Oh. Maybe I can reach it. Okay. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Maybe Let's we see. left it on the radiator. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. I guess we don't want our first inventory item. That's okay. Oh, here is our computer. Um, a memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. I'm not certain that's what it was. Let's see if we can take well, the dog. I've been tempted to put it in the microwave. I think oh, I'll leave it here Alex. for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. Okay, let's see what the magazines Some have games to say. Magazine. Every review score is seven or above. A little fourth wall breaking there. I've already read it. Twice, because that's how exciting my life is. But you have a computer, Alex. Probably do an upgrade. They say PC gaming is an expensive hobby. It's not. Unless you're broke. Which I am. And see if we can... Oh, let's look at the note Just first. Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Okay. I should turn the PC oh. on first. That was my first mistake. Power on. Good of idea. the day. Alright. I wonder what size monitor she is five minutes later. That's pretty, pretty clever there. Uh... Well, it's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there too. Oh, that must be Gavin. It was taken on my birthday a few months ago. Interesting that uh, she scribbled a photo out this of Gavin face. With his face scribbled out. Hey, on a picture the girl's on the internet. The occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? Her Photoshop skills don't seem to be the best. Let's right. try the Let's computer. This. I mean, the keyboard. Look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well. No time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Very nice fourth wall, uh, first fourth wall breaking passwords. by the game. Gavin knew them. God damn it. What did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh yeah. Okay, seems like we have control again. 
Uh, let's look oh, at the note there now. It is, yep. I think. Makes sense. Let's see if we can. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Huh. Okay. Let's see if we can't put the post-it note on the keyboard. That's not how it works. Um, Alright, let's back out of here. Okay, maybe I missed something there. I guess we'll find out later if we can't do anything. Um, let's move Alex over to the left and see the door that we uh, were initially... Was it where we were? Excuse me. We were initially standing. That actually looks like the exit door. So let's not do that. Let's try this. Sure. I could use a shower. I guess that's the bathroom door. Okay. She actually just showered. Interesting. Oh, My look at the potted plant. Little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Gilbert it is. <laughs> and you can see what they did there. Is it a potted plant or is it an actual uh, pot plant? There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. Ah, okay. got it. Parcel I had Another to one. Let's we are see. just So you want to give up smoking, a self-help book by I Burnett. Kind of wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. We're quite forgetful, mis like to misplace things. It's the second uh, parcel we found hidden the kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook. I just usually can't be bothered. Let's just check the window. A beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I I'll pass. Thanks. Should have seen that coming. Um. Well, before we move on to the next door and try and figure out what else we can do with this computer, I'm going to end it right here, just so that the videos aren't so long, and I will continue to play. And I will see you guys next time.